everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video we have a bit of an interesting one so i would be decorating a house for a builder on happy home paradise i will scan in an amiibo but there's something different this time around for this decorating video i will be inverting the color so that way it's a bit harder to decorate and everything's going to look really really different it'll look completely change the color palette so hopefully this still turns out good and without further ado let's get started and I'm not gonna lie, this inverted filter is pretty scary looking, but regardless, I'm very excited and curious to see how this turns out. So the Amiibo filter that I chose was Stitches. I figured this would be a super fun idea because he is already super brightly colored in every which possible way and is a very well-loved character in the community. So I'm pretty excited. I, I really am also kind of scared because I have a feeling that I might get super into what I think looks really good for this one color and then I go and flip back to the normal color palette and it looks atrocious, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Okay, so he wants basically a kid core themed room, it seems, with those specific featured items. Cool, cool, we can do that. As for where I will put his house, I feel like the season of summer and right here where there's kind of a bridge over some water and a good amount of land to put some furniture, I feel like this is perfect for him. And for the amount of floors in his house, I want to go ahead and give him a two-level home. I'll have the upstairs be a bedroom and the lower room be a living room slash kind of hangout area. So for the start of the room, I knew I wanted to look for something that was really bright, but this right away was so much trickier than I was picturing because although there was labels on basically everything, it still was really messing with my head seeing it look one way, but the label saying it was another way, and it was a really confusing decorating experience, but still super fun. I made sure to include all the required items that he asked for, and I figured the puzzle floor was really, really cute, and I liked it. I wasn't quite sure how it would end up turning out being with that wallpaper, but I thought, you know, why not just go for it? We'll see how it works. And then I saw this shelf that also has these toys on it, and I was like, oh, absolutely, this is perfect. I decided there would be one little corner that would have all of his toys. And then as for the left side of the room, I really struggled with that the entire time. I tried to include this tent, and it didn't end up working out, unfortunately. And I wanted to use rugs, but that I really struggled with too, and it was just this big problem. I wanted to fill out space and add more items, but I didn't know how I should go about it. And it was really, really difficult but I was very happy with the end result. All right, and for the bedroom area, I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea how I wanted to do this. I tried this rock climbing kind of looking wall, because it looked cool whenever it was an option and I was hovering over it, but then actually putting it up there, I just kind of looking back, I'm like, ew, like I, no, I don't like this. It kind of looks like if you were to take a bunch of nerd candies and stick them to the wall, and it just was not cute, it was not working, so similarly to the idea that I had downstairs, I tried to apply the upstairs, and once again, I tried with the rugs. The rugs looked a lot better upstairs, and I tried this dreamy bed because I still feel like it's very much kid core, it has strong kid core energy, 
but it wasn't quite Stitches themed. So I did this other bed instead, which I felt like looked almost exactly like his color palette. And I really liked that. And I wanted to add a storage area as well. But the original idea that I had wasn't really working. I just was trying so many ideas. A lot of them didn't work at first, so I had to continue tweaking it and tweaking it. And I knew I wanted to have a shelf with some cute items on it, whether that be a toy or just something that looked kind of kid core. And I tried to use this Papa Bear downstairs, but that didn't work, so I put it upstairs instead. Another thing I really wanted to do was add a shelf by the window so I could put a TV above it or on it in some way. Just so that way you could watch some nice TV. And at one point, I did also want to have a chair and like a little sitting area, but I couldn't quite find a patchwork table. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know if that exists. So I completely omitted that idea and I just added some toys and small items to complete the bedroom. Now for the outside, I really, really genuinely had no idea what I was going to do with this. The house was the easiest part, it was just a matter of picking out specific colors that would hopefully end up looking good whenever I flipped the color palette again back to normal. And then for the bridge, I made it the blue steel bridge just because that was the most kid core option in my opinion. And I guess I just ended up going with adding a lot of plants because those are always pretty no matter what theme you're going for. Unless somebody has something really specific where they don't want any kind of plants. And although I could have just added, I guess, like more toys outside, I just didn't know what to do with it because I could have added the toys. I tried to add like this swing area with the log table and I knew that the colors ultimately when I very flipped the palette back on, they just wouldn't match and this was genuinely so difficult. And I got to a point where I just decided with myself, Lexi, you know, you know what? Go ahead and just make sure you add at least a couple of things and hopefully that would suffice and let me know what you guys think. So I have just finished the build and I have not yet turned on the normal colors. To be honest, I am a little bit scared. I have no idea what it's actually going to look like. I would like to think that I at least did a decent job, but honestly, the inverted colors threw me off a lot more than I thought they would, but without further ado, let's do the reveal. Hopefully it's not that bad, but we're gonna have to see. Okay, so it's not as bad as I was expecting. Like. Really, like, I'm, like, actually pretty shocked for the fact that the inverted colors are, number one, absolutely terrifying to look at. Number two, they mess with you when you're decorating a lot more than you might think. But I feel like the green wallpaper does look really good with the flooring. I'm really happy with how the living room turned out. I have not seen the upstairs area yet, but we're gonna have to see, so let's go do that. Okay, I'm not as much of a fan as how the bedroom area turned out. It's definitely not that bad, but it's also like not what I was hoping it would maybe look like, but it's okay. I do really like the fact that I went ahead and I changed the bed because the dreamy bed, I just wasn't really feeling it because yeah, it's kind of kit core, but I didn't really feel like it suited stitches that well. So I changed it out for this patchwork one and I feel like it looks so much better. And I think honestly, the part of this build that I am dreading the most at the moment is checking the front yard. So I had the hardest time with that hands down, but let's go see. Okay, I mean, it's kind of barren because I really, really, truly struggled with the front yard. I had no idea what to do with it because the inverted colors were already making everything difficult, but it like extra messed with me. And so I went ahead and I just added some general plants, some flowers, a few bushes, some pear trees, and a few kid core items. And I really just did not know else what to do with it. But whenever I changed the bridge, I knew I wanted it to be different, and I chose the steel one because I remembered it was this really pretty blue color, and I figured that would be at least kind of kid core. And that is the end of today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.